We continue our team coverage of Winter Storm Zoe now in Litchfield County. That is where people have been busy digging out and cleaning up today. Channel 3's Eva Zamaris took one of our early warning weather trackers to Torrington, and she's joining us now with a closer look at the conditions there. Good thing I see blacktop under your feet, though. And the sun is shining, Kara. It is actually really a beautiful and kind of comfortable day right now. You can see that we took our brand new early warning weather tracker here to Torrington. And what a different scene this is from even just a couple of hours ago. But you can still see that some people are cleaning up and digging out. Everybody's going to skip the turkey and <laughs> get the tree out. <laughs> It's hard to believe Thanksgiving is next week when it looked a lot more like the middle of winter in Torrington. We're getting there. Carmel and Domenico started shoveling his driveway around 645 this morning. His grandson, Andrew, who lives across the street, jumped in to help. Because, um, you know, obviously he shouldn't be out here. Winter storm Zoe dumped several inches on Litchfield County, and they say the conditions changed quickly. Yeah, I left work early because I was afraid they said it was going to be really slippery. When we stopped by Torrington's Department of Public Works yesterday, they told us they were ready to tackle whatever Mother Nature threw their way today. Now, schools in Torrington were also closed today because of the snow. So for much more on these cleanup efforts, just download our Channel 3 app. Live in Torrington this afternoon, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.